Hi everyone, Shane R. Monroe here. If you've never heard of the Philips CDI or Compact Disc Interactive, you're in good company. Most people haven't. But there are a few titles that work their way onto the system that people are curious to see. Namely those released, get this, by Nintendo. That's right, Nintendo released third-party Zelda and Mario games on the Philips CDI, and frankly, a lot of people just want to see how bad they are. Today, we're going to show you how to set that up using Emudeck, Emulation Station, and RetroArch. Stick around. Hi everyone, Shane R. Monroe here. Your first step is to acquire a set of BIOS files for the Philips CDI. Typically speaking, I never provide these, um, but in this case, Philips CDI is so dead Nobody's making any money on it, and most of the ones you're going to find around the internet are broken. So I'm providing you a known good set. Listen, they may not be there forever, right? So grab them while you can. Then we're going to go to our downloads folder, and you're going to unzip that zip file that we just downloaded that contains the three zip files you'll need full of BIOS files. I'm assuming you've also downloaded a uh, game that you want to play for Philips CDI. I'm not going to provide you with that especially not something with the word Zelda in it, but we're also going to want to extract that as well. So let's go ahead and extract that archive as well. We're going to leave the other three zip files as they are. Now, once you're done here, you're going to have a bin queue probably, or a CHD. Either one will work. Now we're going to go ahead and delete this uh, big zip file, get rid of that one. So now we have the three zip BIOS files and the game. So we're going to go ahead and split the screen um, and if you don't have delete or any of these other cool things like compat data in your dolphin file manager, I highly recommend you check out my dolphin file manager tricks and tips, 2023. You're going to love it. Now we're going to go to our emulation bios folder. Now you would think that you could just put these bios files in the root like everybody else, but you can't, it's got to go in the same CDI folder under the bios folder. I know totally crazy, but that's where it has to go. Grab those three zip files. And in my case, I've prepped my dolphin to allow me to move to other view. You probably don't have that. So you can drag and drop as well. In my case, it doesn't really matter. As long as those three zip files are in that BIOS folder under same underscore CDI, you're in good shape. Now we go to ROMs and your first instinct is to put them in the CDI folder. After all, it's called CDI, but now you really want to put them under CDI mono one. All right. And you can see there's a system info text file. We'll left drag these. We'll do move for those of you who do not have your dolphin set up the way I do. And that's it. Believe it or not, that's really it. <laughs> so it's all in the details, right? You could spend three hours trying to figure this out. Um, and it's really like a one and a half minute sort of tutorial. But we're going to go ahead and jump back to gaming mode, run emulation station and show you what you should now be able to expect having everything set up correctly. All right, so now it's time to go ahead and launch Emulation Station. And if you did everything right, you will see a nice, brand new, very odd looking Philips CDI <laughs> entry in Emulation Station. And of course, there's Zelda Wand of the Gamelon or Wand of That's Gamelon. <laughs> no, not that Gamelon. All right, now here's the other interesting thing most of these CD ROM based gaming systems would just boot straight to the game. Unfortunately, Philips CDI does not at least not in this case. And you're gonna see this and go, oh crap, it didn't work. Yeah, it's okay, it still worked. <laughs> you just have to actually start the CD yourself. So you have to click this play CDI over here and then the game will start. I know like almost like a 3DO or a Mega CD32, all of them will give you some sort of a default screen like that if the image isn't good or it's not going to work. In this case, well, you just have one extra step. Thank you, Phillips. And here we go, the world's worst Zelda game ever made. So if all you wanted to do is figure out how to get everything set up and working and play all the CDI games that you can get your hands on, then you're good. The rest of this video is going to be looking at this horrifying Zelda game. Um, and I'm a fan of CDI uh, media games from the 90s, and even I can't get behind this one. Come on, let's go fight Ganon's evil legions. I'll show you how. First, move the Triforce to pick a place on the map. Then press button 1. I'll fly there in a flash. I know what you're thinking. The graphics look pretty good. Use the controller to move me left or right. 
Move it up to make me jump or climb. Up and over makes me leap. Click button 1 to slash at the enemy. When you get the power sword, button 1 makes it shoot. I crouch when you move the controller down. When I'm crouching, I can walk like this. It's easy. All right, we've had enough of that. <laughs> Let's go ahead and work our way through the introduction and then get into some gameplay. I, I can't stand playing this for too long, folks, so don't worry. You can see it's a short video this week. All right. Zelda, Duke Onklet is under attack by the evil forces of Ganon. I'm going to Gamelon to aid him. But father, what if something happens to you? I'll take the Triforce of Courage to protect me. If you don't hear from me in a month, send Link. Ampa? Don't worry, Zelda. The Triforce of Wisdom promises the king will safely return. Enough. My ship sails in the morning. I wonder what's for dinner. Oh boy! I'm so hungry, I could eat an Octorok! <sighs> a whole month gone, and still no word. I'm certain he's all right. Yeah, that old Ganon's no match for the king. Link, go to Gamelon and find my father. Great! I can't wait to bomb some Dodongos! <laughs> up, Impa. We're going to Gamelon. All right, dear. I'll get the Triforce of Wisdom. I'm hoping that you're only here to see this because you just have to play every Zelda game ever made, regardless of how bad it is. Oh, by the way, you don't want to use the A button. You want to use X to select now all of a sudden. Very interesting choice. Must be a Philips CDI button thing. Oh, look, it's the help menu, except for I get to control it this time. Oops, uh, let's see what we got here. I don't know what that means, but whatever. Let's just keep hacking and slashing, shall we? Yeah, I bet Nintendo wishes this never, ever existed. You know, actually, from a graphic standpoint, it's not bad if there was a little bit more animation and maybe a little bit more game. <laughs> but at least it looks pretty good, right? All right, well, listen, that's going to do it. Listen, if you like what you saw, please like, subscribe, hit the bell. You guys know what to do. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Shane Armonroe, and take care.